Oh, hey, this will be a quick video on understanding RGB and hex color codes. Now, both of these indicate color, but both have their own ways and can be converted. Now, if you search for color, you might have used this either in code or uh, in uh, Photoshop or anything, any graphic design. So if you search for color picker on Google, you'll see this uh, a color color picker which uh, and you can choose a color and it will I show you your RGB hex values and there are more CMYK HSV HSL but the main one the main but the main uh, like or you can say the schemes we use is our hex and RGB so um, there's an article I found which is quite helpful on Hackadoon you can check this um, it explains how to convert numbers into hexadecimal but that's not what, what we're going to be like going after now let's go for rgb i think rgb is the simplest it's just uh, let me just go pull this down to zero now every color has 255 shades so like you can control a color by using their rgb values the rgb values like it's at the red one is at zero now here and then uh, if I increase it slowly then this will increase and it shows the full red color and this will be some halfway through and if we increase the green we can similarly find that here the value of green is increasing in the RGB both are at the max 255 255 and if we increase blue to the max we get the white screen so uh, like if RGB all the three colors are their full potential 255 full shade then you will get white if they are all at zero then you will get black so this is simple now now when we come to hex it's actually uh i i, I th this uh, slider thing you're, you're saying it's i've made this just for this tutorial i'll show you the code behind it too um so before moving on to hex let me just show you the code behind it i just um, it's actually simple. I've just designed it a bit. So um, here are the sliders input type range. So the, I've set the min value to zero, max to 255, and on input when any any value changes, it goes to a JavaScript function. Which this is the main function which changes the background color of the block. It like uses RGB values as you can see. Um, in CSS, we write RGB as, um, where can I show you? Um, let me just say body, background color, RGB. Now, there are two forms of RGB, which you can see here. There's RGB normal and RGB A. Now, alpha, uh, RGB A is red, green, blue and alpha. Alpha is the, basically the opacity, the visible, how, how visible is the color, like, uh, I'll just okay so red green blue and alpha it can vary from vary from 0 to 1 0 0.5 means it will be uh, halfway visible but that is okay we're going to leave that for now so if we choose RGB uh, have to change the A um, so let me just do a black color for our background And as you can see, we have a black background and we can still change these values. So this is, no, this is nice. So this is basically how you use RGB values. And yeah, and that is how I've used that in JavaScript RGB, then the value of, from the slider of red, then green, then blue, which is defined like we get that from here RGB. Now moving on to hex codes, um, I, I'll prefer you check out this article on how to convert um, numbers into this, but that is not necessary actually. So the, so how hex works is it's basically similar to RGB. Let me just uh, get the body code again. Now RGB 0, 0, 0, which is red, green, blue, all three zero. I can write it as hashtag. Now all hex um, colors are like they are written in hex if you know um, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 
so this will result in a black background again okay so yeah this so um now let me just break it down for you it's very similar to rgb uh you see the like you focus on these are there are six digits you focus on the two numbers the first two will indicate the red the next two the blue and then the other two i mean the uh, rgb red green and blue in pairs so hex values are from 0 to f now how are they from 0 to f they uh, start from 0 they go till 9 and then they go from a to f so in this article there is this some um, somewhere yeah you can see here so 0 to f 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 a b c d e and f so 0 is the minimum value f is the maximum value so for example if we want the background to be red so in the red portion which is the first two digits of uh, the hexadecimal code the max value is from 0 to f so f is the max value so we go both ff and you can see in my code editor i can see the value has changed to red so i will be getting a red background as you can see so and if i want fully green then i'll change the middle two to ff which is the maximum value and i'll just show you here i will get green you can see here and if i now suppose i want um halfway green like rgb to 150 or 170 is somewhere in that range so i'll go ha almost halfway through this so it's from 0 to f let me go to 99 nine. and you can see i've got a darkish sort of green yes and uh, i don't know which i don't know if i can match it but it's around 150 here yeah around 150 this looks uh, like yeah 150 around yeah so this is how it works uh, rgb i mean hex is so simple in that article you will see how they go in depth how you can convert stuff but i think it's not necessary you can just uh, use the rgb knowledge and just change the values of the two digits at a time so let's go with um aa i think all a will also give uh, it is on the wider side yes so let's have um a bluish green color so let's go zero on the red then let's have green halfway we can do nine nine and then we can do blue fully so we get a nice color i hope yes we have got a nice color so red zero green halfway almost and blue full so you can see we have almost attained the same you see 150 to 55 so that's how they work they're really simple hex is basically rgb with just two digits at a time like it's the simplest way of using numbers if, if you want to go in detail then you can check out the article but uh, for now that is enough so yeah thanks for watching this video and i will be uploading the code um i will upload it somewhere and then you can check the description so yeah that's it for this video thank you for watching